Wait, it's on the last one. It's on the 80th pull. Okay, three. Miles are close. Three, two, one. So we get to test out Arlecchino for the first time. I am really excited to try. This is uh, quite the monumental occasion, I must say. And he is in the flesh right now. Oh my goodness gracious. Arlecchino, we've been waiting so long. So long to see her and I'm, and I'm really excited. And this idle animation is... She got normal animations. Before we press any buttons, let's just... A quick gander at her uh, character selection screen. 77 and 120. Wait, oh, we got uh, 77 120. Uh, interesting. Uh, 135 on that. 46% on the power damage bonus. We got the new weapon. 20% on a level 8. 590. But yeah, pretty much Jade Spear level. Rants of Bottom Black equal to 25% of max HP when a charge attack its opponents. Uh, effect can trigger every 14 seconds, and then on Bond of Life, they gain 12% damage bonus. And if you have Bond of Life equal to 30%, 24% damage bonus. Very nice. And then you got the new artifact set. Right, so for her constellations, C1 is actually pretty big, so you can actually have interruption to resistance. So that is going to be a pretty, pretty nice thing to have. E2 goes crazy. And it's just... You get your blood debt instantly as soon as you have your elemental skill out. You get it instantly, you don't need to do a charge attack, whatever. So that's pretty big. And then you deal 900% of your attack as a re power damage. So nice, increase elemental resistance and physical. C3 is actually a normal attack skill increase by 3, which is pretty big. Personal opinion for a kid. Energy restoration for C6 or C4, and C6 obviously just go crazy. Uh, her attack is multiplied by 7% of her current or current bond of life so pretty big and then 10% crit rate 70% crit damage now for her talents this is actually going to be pretty uh, important to know uh, we already went over this already um, but you get a 40% pyro damage bonus for Arlegino and she can only be healed through pale moon rise so pretty 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 big it's very important uh, passive talent that wasn't really shown before but now they have shown it and yeah, the healers are going to be pretty useless. She looks solid. She looks solid. Right, so your normal attack is where you get most of your damage from. Mask Red Death State is initiated here, in which you get like power damage bonus. And you also get the elemental skill, which allows you to get the Blood Death Directive going. And that's where you're going to get the uh, Mask of, you know, Red Death State. And then you have your Bale Moon Rising. This is the only way you can heal your Orlucino, and its energy cost is 60. So you don't need that much energy to recharge, but you're going to need some, obviously. Um, the skill damage is pretty okay. And then here is your uh, passive talent. This is where it gets a little bit, you know, kind of complicated, kind of not. A little bit complicated, but it doesn't have to be. Just defeat your opponent, and then you get the blood death direct. Five seconds after a directive is applied, it will be upgraded to a blood dead, and then you can get the bomb flag. Okay, and you cannot exceed the certain amount of blood death which is 145%. And then for her other passive talent is that she gets elemental and physical resistance for every 100 attacks she has. Okay, we can't even do that actually. Because these are... Yeah, okay, let's just try this. Wait. Oh! Wait, this is insane. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to test this. We need to test the potential. Okay, let's try this. Do that. Wait. Okay, that was a little spoil. I didn't, I didn't do that rotation well enough. Okay, it looks like the bottom black doesn't breathe automatically. We actually have to deal in a sense of damage. Let's just do the rest of this. Do that. That's good. Okay. Okay, let's try this. He's ready to them. No. I have 
so many words, but for now, let's just let's just go ahead and do it. Let's let's go to the summoning screen, man. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is finally time. We are going to be summoning on the Arlecchino. Oh wait, oh boy, is this going to be? These are going to be some important summons. Okay, we got Lenny, we got Arlecchino. For some reason, this is first, and then this is second. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Anyway, it is time. Okay, we got some summons. Probably claim the ones in the mail. I haven't done that yet. Boom. Very nice. Now we go back here. Boom. 100 summons just for Marlachino. It is time. Check, right? Pity, 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 pity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're exactly 50 in. Theoretically, it shouldn't take that long to reach our little Arlecchino. Okay, we got a four star. Hopefully, it's a little net. It is. All right, there we go. Boom. Ten more. We're at 70 now. Ooh okay. That is a uh, that is a Lynette. We want that. We want that. Now, I can click on ten, or I can do one by one by one by one. But I'm not gonna do one. Come on, go hold ten. We didn't do a 10. There we go. 50 50. Come on, come home, Marlachino. Come home to me. Let's go. Easy peasy. Two. Three. I'm closing my eyes now. Eyes closed. Four. Six. Nope. Five. Come on. Six. Come on. That's not it. Come on. Seven. Okay, it's a good thing we did a 10. Because... Okay, eight. Nine. Oh, that's a golden one. 79 pulls in this Arlecchino. Oh, wait, that's a 4-star. Wait, it's on the last one. It's on the 80th pull. Okay, 3. My eyes are closed. 3, 2, 1. Oh, that's the one. Oh, that's Arlecchino. I feel it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. She did kind of ruin it on me. Okay, that sort of ruined it on me because uh, I don't know. Uh, I can't do the, the eyes closed thing. And then I'll, I'll just know because the, the character starts off. But let's go! We call Lucino 80th pull. Oh my goodness gracious. We have one chance at this. We are guaranteed a 5 star. But we're not guaranteed to get the 5 stars that we want. So let us hope for the best. We want the Moon Moons, Embers. Let's go a quick 10 pull here. Let's see what happens. Nothing much. We got this weapon. Nothing crazy about that weapon, that is for sure, but it is okay. Boom. Okay, we got a little dragon's vein there. Let's pull some more. That's fine. Ooh, it looks cool though, but not the craziest weapon either. There we go. Boom. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Rosario. That is... I did not expect that. I'll be honest. I did not expect that. That's a five star. Come on, baby. Come on. My eyes are closed. That is a 3 star. Okay, that's the 5 star. That's the 5 star. That's the 5 star. No! We lost it! We lost the 50 50. The, yeah, we lost the 50 50 on the weapon. We did get a good weapon, though. It's not a bad weapon. But, yeah. Alright. That is that. So we ended up losing the 50-50 in the weapon banner, but we did win the 50-50 on the Arlecchino banner, which I am pretty happy about. It is unfortunate that we won't be able to see the cool look inside. We'll have to stick with the Jade Spear, but yeah, that's pretty fine. And uh, yeah, maybe uh, as I continue along the journey, I'll try to summon a few more times on the weapon banner to see if I can get some luck and pull the actual weapon. So. We'll see how that turns out. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, like, please subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one very soon. Bye-bye.